Hi, I'm Carl from Apt, and in this video I'm going to be going over the specs and the features of the HWB550 soundbar from Samsung. This is a step up from their entry level 450 soundbar for 2022 and offers a great audio experience for a reasonable price. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our newest products and you can see our latest pricing on this soundbar or get in touch with one of our experts at the links down in the description. The HWB550 is 33.9 inches wide, 2.3 inches high, and 3 inches deep, and the included wireless subwoofer, 7.2 inches wide, 13.6 inches high, and 11.6 inches deep, so it can fit on most stands, but you also get a mount in the box in case you want to put this on the wall. And it looks good too, it gets an updated design over the 450 with a perforated metal grille surrounding the drivers instead of claw. You also get some basic onboard controls for power, volume, and source select. And on the front is a display to show what input you're on or what sound mode you have selected. Connections on the 550 are improved over the 450 as well. In addition to a USB for music playback and an optical input, you also get Bluetooth with multi-connection. Plus you also get an HDMI in and out with an audio return channel. Just like the 450, the 550 doesn't have much in the way of manual controls. You can adjust the bass and the treble using the remote, but that's about it. But also like the 450, it has several preset sound modes to choose from. There's bass boost to give you more low end, surround sound expansion to enhance surround effects, game mode to help you hear the quieter details like footsteps approaching when you're gaming, standard, which turns off all the additional enhancements, and adaptive light, which lets the soundbar determine what settings to use based on what's playing. In addition to those, the 550 also gets DTS Virtual X, which is going to add some virtual height effects to the audio. Then you also get a night mode to help bring the loud sounds down and the quiet sounds up so you can watch a movie or a show without disturbing the people around you. And there's a voice enhanced mode to kind of bring out the dialogue a little bit better. It's also got auto AV sync to make sure the audio coming out of the soundbar matches up with the action on the screen. The HWV550 has 2.1 channels and gets a bump up in power to 410 watts. As far as sound quality goes, it's better than what you might think. Dialogue's really clear and you can definitely feel the bass, which makes watching movies much more engaging. And music actually sounds pretty good on the 550 too. It's not going to replace a pair of good bookshelf speakers, but for a reasonably priced soundbar, it does the job. For a sub-300 audio system, this is money well spent. This is going to be an ideal soundbar for someone who watches a lot of movies but may be on a little bit of a budget and looking for that best bang for your buck type of audio. There aren't a ton of bells and whistles and you can't really do much with those equalizers. So if you're someone who likes to fine tune your audio, you may want to consider a different model. But the sound quality you get from the 550 is certainly worth the price. Plus, you get that bump in power, HDMI, and Bluetooth multi-connection. If you have any questions on the HWB 550 or you just need help finding the right soundbar for your home theater, you can contact our experts here at APT seven days a week. If you don't live close by to come in and see us in person, you can also reach us by phone, email, or online chat. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.